92.5. Brooke and Jubal's second date update. A lot of times in dating, you'll meet somebody who's too good to be true. Mm. You know what I mean? They have like everything that you want, except there's something wrong with them. I know, I know for me, I met this girl one time, too good to be true. She was not the brightest. Yeah. Hot <laughs> and mute. And I was like, she has everything that I look for in a woman. And then come to find out she's super close with her family. And I can't date a girl who's close oh, with her family. It so just ruined it for me. I was like, that is way too good to be true. Where's Man. the daddy issues when you need them? I know. It sucked. Gosh. Yeah, it's well, such a hard life. Mary is on the phone with us. And she thinks that she met a guy who is too good to be true. His name is Ray. And that's who she wants us to call today. Hi, Mary. How are you? Hey, I'm good, thanks. How are you? Good. Thank you for your email. Appreciate it. So why don't you tell us a little bit about Ray, the guy that you want to call today? Okay, thanks. I appreciate it. I'm nervous, but I'm glad to... I don't know. I appreciate it. Okay, so um, <laughs> I met him at the gym. I just saw him like on an elliptical machine, and I kind of couldn't take my eyes off him, but I had to try hard, too, you know, so he didn't notice. And I actually timed my walk to the water fountain um, in a way, as he was wrapping up, you know? Nice move, Mary. So you waited till he was walking the water fountain, and then you jumped on his back, and you said, Hey, my name's Mary. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wanted to. Did you, was that the first time you had ever seen him before? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I kind of timed it, and I, my timing was certainly on my side, because our eyes just locked, and he said, Hey, and I said, Oh, hi, you know, like real casual, like I had never noticed him. Uh-huh. And... We just talked, and it was instant that we had a connection. You know, joking was really easy, lighthearted, and everything just kind of fell into place. So he suggested we get some sushi the next night, and I said, sure. So your email said that you think that he's too good to be true. Why is that? Oh, my God, he is too good to be true. He has a great (laughs) smile. Like That that was the first thing that I noticed, okay? And I thought, but that's a smile, right? But everything else is in place. He's never been divorced. He doesn't speak badly about women or his mom. He... um, (laughs) great job i'm so used to guys where i have to pay the bill and 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 i don't mind sharing but like they're never on top of it financially he works in finance he's stable you know he's a gentleman he pulls a chair out for me he's polite that's it what kind of guys do you normally go out with mary (laughs) musicians and guys who are really interesting but they nothing against musicians i don't mean that but they're just like people who are even if they say they work in finance they're not stable they're still living right. with, at okay. home or just, right. i don't know they, they never have enough money the way that you described <laughs> everything about him that's good though i just picture you out with like guys who have no job that are just like ah chicks right aren't they stupid <laughs> hey pay the bill i'm so angry about women right now <laughs> well maybe shirt. you don't know what it's like being a woman but the thing is when you start dating guys like you know like maybe they've been divorced and they've been so hurt that they can't trust women again okay. or you know, I mean, this comes out, and this guy just didn't have any, he's too good, that's what I mean, he's too good to be true, there are no issues. How did the date go? It went great. It was easy again, you know, just talking. Awesome. It just seemed comfortable, and I mean, he leaned towards me, and, you know, he complimented my dress and how I looked, and he saw me in the gym, I was sweatier, and I mean, <laughs> I was dressed up more for a date, and he kissed me on the cheek, which is fine, because it's yeah. the first date, I, I don't mind that it's not on the lips, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have minded if it was, but I don't mind that it wasn't. <laughs> It's wow. five days later, and there's, there's nothing. And I know he mentioned, I think he did say he was dating other people right now. So something came up, and, I, and he's such a perfect guy that, of course, I know he's going to be dating other guys. We're not in a relationship. I get it. I'm saying, don't worry. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you are yeah, a lot you are, right now. Yeah, you, can, so cause you can slow down a little yeah. bit. You... Whoa. <laughs> Why hasn't I, you know, I just wanted, I just thought it worked so well. I just. I thought maybe by the third day I'd get a text about getting right. together another week, you know? And I apologize if I didn't hear this. You said a lot of words very quickly, <laughs> and I may have missed it. How long has it been since you heard from this guy? Five days. Five days. Five days. Yeah, five okay. days. And do, have you seen him at the gym? No. Ask me if I've gone every day, yes. <laughs> yeah, no So kidding. why do you think he's not calling you back then, if the date went so well? I mean, either it's some horrible thing about myself I don't know, <laughs> or I'm just in the rotation of all the girls he can go out with, and when it's my turn, you know, after the whatever, the tenth girl, check in again because I think he's probably very popular. Okay. Yeah, because he's so good. Yeah, he, he's not going to ever want for a date ever. Okay, <laughs> sounds like you're in love. Are you in love, Mary? <laughs> I mean, I'm in great like. Put great it that way. like. Great like. All right. Okay. Well, <laughs> we'll play a song. Come back. Call him and get your second date update. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hang on. <laughs> Brooke and Jubal in the mornings. 
second date update. We're in the middle of a second date update, and if you're just joining us, Mary is on the phone. Today, she wants to call a guy named Ray. They met at the gym, and according to her, she thinks that he's too good to be true. He's mm-hmm. everything that she's ever wanted in a man. But it's been five days since she texted him, and he has not responded. So we're about to call him, get him on the phone, and find out why he's not getting back to Mary. Mary, I do have a question for you, and I don't want you to be offended by this, but you sound a little obsessed with Ray. Okay? Oh, really? It's not necessarily a bad thing. I just want to know, like, on a scale of you want to wear his shirt to sleep at night so you can get his scent to I want to wear his skin every day for the rest of my life. Where do you fall in between that scale on obsession? In the middle. In the middle. Okay, middle. good. That's okay. That's great guy. I, you don't find him very often. I, I, gonna tell you the truth. I think it's perfectly fine to be excited about this guy. Huge crush. I know. You know. And <laughs> I assume you've done extensive Google searching on him as well. As much as possible. We have to do that today. It's normal. You yeah. didn't find anything weird, though, right? No, nothing. Of course perfect, not. He's the perfect man. <laughs> She Googled his name and a picture of James Bond showed up. That's how perfect of a man he is. All right. Well, I'm about to dial the phone number and get him on the phone and find out why he's not responding to you. Okay. Oh, God. Thank you. I'm so nervous. But thank you. Thank okay. you. Well, just relax. We'll get, him, we'll get him on the phone. We'll do this for you. Right? So cute. Awesome. Thank you so much. We're sorry. Oh my god, did he disconnect his number because I texted him? (laughs) No, I don't. I think I probably dialed the wrong number. Let me try again, okay? Oh my god. I I hope that he didn't like cancel his phone because of you texting him. Oh no. That doesn't make sense, does it? No, it doesn't. I think you're okay. Let me just. It's probably my fault. I misdial numbers all the time. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I (laughs) hope. There we go. Hello? Hey, I was looking for Ray. Uh, yeah, this is him. Who is this? Hey, Ray, how are you? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. I'm sorry, what is this in regards to? It's in regards to a, a date that you recently went on? Yeah, I, I didn't sign up for any uh, <laughs> date or anything like that. Um, I, I know you didn't, Ray. Uh, I host a radio show. It's called Brook and Jubal in the Morning. And you recently went out on a date with one of our listeners, and they asked us to call you. Okay, you're going to have to be a little bit more specific because I go out with a lot of women. Mm-hmm. Okay. Her name is Mary, and you met her at the gym. Oh, okay. I remember Mary. She says that she's tried to reach out to you since your date, but you haven't responded, so she's wondering if she did something wrong. <laughs> um, I know it's I know it's a weird phone call. It's a segment that we do on our show called the Second Date Update. If you don't call somebody back after a date and they have a question as to why, they'll email us so we can get you on the phone and ask. So we're asking on Mary's behalf if she did something wrong on your date. I mean, I mean Mary's a nice girl and, and everything. I just you know when you like meet somebody and um, you, you just feel like you're out of their league a little bit. I know exactly what you're talking about, Ray. It happens to me all the time. So, are you saying you don't feel like Mary's in your league or playing on your level? Yeah, I mean, essentially, it was was the way, you know, she was looking at me and the way she was talking to me. I felt like I was doing her a favor by going out with her. Whoa, dude. Did you feel this way? Did you feel this way before you went out with her, or this happened like you realized that while you were out with her? We were at the gym. I got like this kind of desperate feel, and you know, I, I was like, I, "She's one of those girls I know I can sleep with." On if we went out again, yeah. so it's like, why do you think that you know you can sleep with her? Because she was excited to go out with you. Well, I mean, I don't really have a hard time finding women. You know, usually they just kind of come to me, um, and if the schedule permits, and you know. Okay. So, out. so, would you qualify your date with Mary as a pity date? Yeah, I feel like that's a little harsh, you know. I mean, sometimes you just got to slum it, you know what I mean? Uh, what? <laughs> you got to slum you it? You just said that? Isn't that worse Every once in a while, you got to give back to charity. So. <laughs> Dude, come wow. on. Why would you even go out with her to begin with? I mean, I don't think you're doing someone a favor by considering them less than you. Charity. You know, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really trying not to be mean. That's not what I'm trying to do. It's just that... I'm being honest. I, I feel like kind of doing her a favor, and I thought, why not? I got nothing else to do. I might as well. And, okay. you know? 
All right. I appreciate your honesty a lot, Ray. Really? Yeah, I mean, it's hard to find people that'll just be blunt about that kind of stuff. Normally, yeah. people always are like, well, I don't know. We just didn't have good chemistry. I you think know? you're an egomaniac no. who's completely rude. I mean, if you're Jennifer Lawrence, you're not going to go out with some guy that manages a subway. Like, that's not going to happen. <laughs> you know, you're going to find someone that's on equal footing with you. And I just, I felt like she's a few steps below me. Okay. Like I said, thanks for your honesty, man. I yeah. also have to be honest uh. with you now and let you know that Mary is actually on the phone listening to this. She is? Yeah. Hi. I'm here. Hi. Hi. I mean, Hi. <laughs> Listen, Mary, I'm, I'm not trying to be mean to you or anything. I know. Right I know. I, I, I understand completely. I, You know what? I, I mean, I get it. I, Mary, I, Mary, I Mary, Mary. Did you not? Part of you, and you are a rare catch, and you just know it. Mary, did you hear what he was just saying about you? Did you hear what he was just saying about you? But I don't mind because I can try to be better. I'd rather know, and then I have a goal. Oh I mean, my God. I'd rather know that, and then I could try to be better. No, Mary, you love yourself for who you are, and you have some self-confidence and some self No, I, I know about loving myself for who I am right now, but we can still always want to improve and, and hope to improve. And <laughs> otherwise, what's the point? You know, we're not going to try to get better. But what did he say that out? was constructive? He just slammed you. <laughs> I didn't take it that way. I mean, he's kind of right. He's he has high standards, and like I said, I told you guys, he's an amazing guy. He's rare, and you know, Ray, it was an honor just to to have dinner with you. If you guys talk to him more, you'll you'll figure it out, like I did. Oh Mary, I appreciate that you want to be able to work up to eventually being in my league. And, and to be fair, I feel like with a, a little bit of work, I think that you know you could. Be there. No. Is... There's a few things I, I definitely noticed on our date that you know you can improve on. Like you know, I noticed that you were kind of going for some more fatty, calorically <gasps> dense food when we were out on a date, and oh, I feel like no. you know if we get away from that kind of stuff, can really help you. Oh, you narcissist! You mean okay, okay? I can work on that because to put me in the level you're in, then then it would be it would be my honor to try to do that. No, Mary, are you no, serious? No, no don't. But he's right. I don't mind. It's like a parent that loves you and wants you to be your best. They oh, no. the things you have. No. I do want to be better. I've always wanted to be better. And if this is the way I, I get, you know, to understand how to be better, then it's a blessing. <laughs> Mary, Mary, you're walking into like a controlling, narcissistic, egomaniac. I have to say something. You guys have been nice to me, but enough's enough. You, you shouldn't talk about him this way. I know who he is. I met him. You're <laughs> yeah, maybe just jealous. Please stop being so rude to him, or I'm going to have to get off the phone. I'm s uh, Mary, I'm sorry we're being Whoa. rude to Ray. Ray, do you feel like we're being rude to you? Yeah, we're being no, very rude to, be to fair, him. Yeah, I feel like there are some unfair you know, jabs being made to me, because <laughs> all I'm trying to do is just True. make Mary become the really pretty person I know that she oh can Oh, my become. God. <laughs> Okay. Mary, I want to shake you. What are you doing? Well, well in that I case, know what I'm doing. I'm an adult, and I don't think it's very respectful what you guys are doing. It, hey, Mary, it's true. You're an adult. You can make your own decisions. Oh. And if you feel like Ray is right, and you were out of his league, and oh. apparently you want to work on getting into his league, I'll ask the question: Would you guys like to go on a second date, Ray? Oh, we will pay for you to go on a second date with Mary if you will accept. Uh, I mean, yeah, but I can't promise there will be another date. After that, okay. Mary, are you willing to give it another try? I mean, I hope we have another day, but I think it's just great to have an opportunity to try again. So, yeah. All right. Audition. Well, congratulations, you guys. So sick. We're sending you out on a second date. Ray, I have to tell you, you've... Uh, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for giving me another chance. I will not let you down. I promise you. I, I promise Mary, I will not let you down. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. Think about how every butterfly starts out in caterpillar. <laughs> <laughs> Brooke and Jubal in the morning. Text in at 78592 that simply says, What the F just happened? Yeah, it's it. Brooke and Jubal in the morning. Talking, of course, about the second date update. And this is probably the first second date update we've done where I'm not a fan of either of these people. Yeah. Honestly. That's a good point. <laughs> Mary is the girl from the second date update. She wanted us to call this guy named Ray. The whole time she was talking about how perfect he was, how amazing he was. She's always wanted to date a guy like this. They ended up going out. He wasn't calling her back. We got him on the phone. And the reason he wasn't calling her back was, well, 
she's not really on my level. <laughs> and I sort of went out with her because sometimes you got to slum it. She seemed like a nice girl when I met her, and I figure I'd throw the dame a bone, let her go out with a big fish like Ray. Yeah. That was his whole attitude the whole Seriously. time. And I thought for sure like we were going to get her on the line, you know, because she's listening to all this, and she was going to just rage on this guy or end up crying because he was so mean to her. Nope. Yeah. Instead, she was like, Ray, you're just so amazing. I can change. I can be whatever you need me to be. You're I want right. to play on your level. I really want to. <laughs> it is so sad. I just want to, like, that girl, I just wish there was, like, an injection of self-confidence that you could take, mm -hmm. like a shot, and I would give that to her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She definitely needs to shower in some Old Spice swag. Although, we, <laughs> I did see a text message that came in and says this is totally going to turn on Ray because she's going to end up, like, falling in love with him, stalking him, and then eventually, like, making a skin doll out of yeah, him. Yeah, seriously. Here's a clip in case you missed it. <laughs> You're walking into, like, a controlling, narcissistic, egomaniac... I have to say something. You guys have been nice to me, but enough's enough. You, you shouldn't talk about him this way. I know who he is. I met him. You're <laughs> baby just jealous. Please stop being so rude to him, or I'm going to have to get off the phone. I'm that, so was, <laughs> that was my favorite part from the second date update, is how she got mad at us, because we were like, dude, you're kind of a douche. Yeah. And she's like, stop talking about him like that. He's amazing. <laughs> and I will do whatever it takes to be on his level. I've oh. never heard a guy be able to call a girl, uh, not on his level, she's a little chubby and eats the wrong foods and probably not hot enough for him, and she's still in his the palm of his See, hands. Mm -hmm. You know what? Like, how does that so work? There's, you know what? There's... Actually, probably one of the most successful second dates we've yeah. ever done, because those two... <laughs> Really deserve each other. There's somebody for everybody out there. I guess. <laughs>